In this video, I'm going to go over creating a template in Adobe Dreamweaver CS4. Templates are very important to use when creating a very large site, uh, even a smaller site, anywhere from anywhere from 10 to 10 plus pages. You're you're probably going to want to create a template for. If you have 10 or less, you know it really might not matter. But uh, 10 plus, I would recommend creating a template for just in case or even if you think your site might expand uh, basically it's just a good rule of thumb to always create a template so right now we're sitting in Dreamweaver CS4 and we're looking at a site that I have put together uh, template video .htm, and doodle by Ryan is the site and we have put the div tags up and laid everything out nicely already um, we're gonna turn this into a template and I'm gonna show you what a template does a template basically allows you to change a specific item that you have uh, made an uneditable region which I will cover later and when you change that it changes that same image on every page you've created with that template then there's also editable regions where if you put something in that section uh, it is unique to that page alone uh, looking at a site you kinda wanna kinda get the idea of well what am I going to be changing frequently uh, on you know I want the same kind of look for my site but I'm going to be putting different things on different pages where am I going to be putting those different things and then also where am I not going to be changing quite frequently and just to give you an idea uh, my my logo up here and my, my slogan and my header up here I probably won't be changing very often and if I do and I end up with like a thousand pages I don't want to change this uh, logo on a thousand pages I just want to change it once and have it be changed on all of the other 999 pages and to do so you need to create a template uh, and make sure you do this wisely because uh, you don't want to have to go back and, and if you've created a thousand page site uh, you definitely don't want to change something a thousand times that's kind of uh, tedious and, and annoying so to get started uh, I'm gonna kinda just look at my site and figure out where I want to make it editable and unique and where I don't want to edit it and this will all make a little bit more sense once I get into the process uh, right now looking at this site I'm, I'm not gonna want to change my header here very often and I am I might want to change the left hand side here uh, you never know and I might want to ch I'm definitely going to want to change the right hand side here because this is where most of my main content is going to go my navigation I probably won't change and if I do I'm going to want it to change across the board so I'm probably not going to touch that I'm going to leave it uneditable and down at the bottom I'm just going to leave my footer and everything uneditable as well so to get started I need to save this file as a template. I'm going to go to file, go down to save as template and as you can see it opens up uh, this little dialog box telling you you're in site doodle by Ryan. You have an existing template already created which is my main one. Well I don't want to use that one. I'm just going to create a new one. I'm going to create, uh, let's just say video is my new template. I'm going to give it a description of new video. There we go. I'm going to save this as a template and quickly uh, after I update my links here uh, you can see that it is changed to video.dwt it's no longer .htm anytime you see an extension dwt that automatically tells you that you're working in a template and anything I change in this dwt will change across the board on any site I've created using this template now if I try and close this out right away I'm gonna get an error message here or a little pop-up box saying this template doesn't have any editable regions so are you sure you want to continue well good rule of thumb is you always need an editable region uh, reason why if you don't have any editable regions then anything you change on this template will change on all thousand pages whatever pages you have 50 pages and all your pages will look exactly alike and that's kind of a boring website to have everything be exactly the same so we're gonna go ahead and click cancel and I'll click OK there and just what we talked about earlier I'm gonna make the left hand and the right hand side editable and I'm gonna leave everything else alone so to do so I'm gonna click on my div here uh, the div I want to change and make editable if you're using tables or AP divs click on the table or AP div you want to make editable right click on it go to templates go over to new editable region 
and uh, if you want to use short uh, keyboard shortcuts go ahead and click control alt v and i'm going to click that and it's going to ask me to name this editable region and this is just kind of for your reference you don't really uh, need to make it you know think you know a lot about this name here it's going to put uh, left side uh, it really doesn't matter i'm going to click okay and I'm going to go up and and you can tell that you've made an editable region inside of a template by the uh, turquoise uh, looking blue uh, tab on top of the the div tag that says left side that's the name of this and a little blue uh, turquoise blue line that goes all the way around your div tag I'm going to do the same here for the content area templates new editable region and I'm going to say name this right side I'm having a tough time typing today and we can see I've got a tab up here uh, saying that this is editable now as well. We're going to go ahead and save this by hitting Control S, or you can go to File and go down to Save. And uh, now that I've saved this template, I'm going to create a new page from this template. Don't you don't cr use this template to make your pages. Use this template. Um, in it, well, use it to make your pages, but in a different way than you think. Don't actually use the DWT extension and create unique content on here um, because this is your template. You don't want to uh, mess with your template. So go to File, New. Uh, make sure you're under Page from Template. A lot of you might start out with a blank page, HTML or, or CSS or PHP or something like that. Go to Page from Template and grab the Doodle by Ryan, which is the site we're under. And we don't want to use the main template. We want to use the video template and I'm going to create it from there. And you can tell you're no longer in the template, but created an HTM page from the template on the top hand side here on the top right you'll see template colon video and that is the template we're using is the video one. And now we are in a HTML page that we can edit and change all we want. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is since I didn't create an editable region on my header here, I've got a little circle with a line through it saying I can't touch that area. And if I go down here, I can't touch this area. And the navigation, I can't touch that area. But anything that I had these little tabs on here, I can change and do whatever I want with them. And actually, if you look into your code here, you can see that now they've added a new little comment here saying this is, a, this is the instance that begins the editable name right side and it allows me to change anything in this div area but if you go up a little ways here my navigation has ended and I cannot change anything in here it's all grayed out like it's in a comment uh, it won't allow me to change it because I didn't make that editable going back to design mode here I'm just gonna add something into the uh, content area here click code go into the main content and put in an H1 of this is my template close it out and go back to design mode this is my template in an H1 and I'm gonna save this as I'm just gonna save it as video let's save it as new video.htm I'm gonna click save and it's gonna save it now as a new video.htm and if I were to click F12 here uh, to preview it in my browser you can see that I have just created a new template here uh, this is my template nothing has changed and we're all good go ahead and close that out minimize that and um, actually I'm going to close that whole uh, stream of pages I had open there uh, now what you can do uh, let me show you something else. This is a unique content here. This is only going to show up in this page. If I were to go to File, New, Create a New Template from Doodle by Ryan Video, Create, it is no longer there. It's not there, but everything that is there is the main stuff. All the stuff I cannot edit will always stay there. I'm going to close that out without saving it. And uh, just to give you an idea of using this template to its full potential, um, let's say we've just created a thousand pages. I've got different content on this right hand side and oh, I, I actually decided I don't want this contact me anymore here, but I want to move it down here somewhere. So we're just going to get rid of this contact me. 
well, I've got a thousand pages. I don't want to go to a thousand pages. Click on this content me and click the backspace or delete or whatever and just get rid of it and have to change all this out. I don't want to do that a thousand times. It's kind of uh, tedious and annoying. So I'm going to go back to my template, my video.dwt. Make sure you're under this one. I'm going to click on my content me. Now, I haven't really made it look pretty or anything, but I'm just going to click the backspace here. And as you can see, the contact me is no longer there. Uh, well, we're not going to uh, pretty it up or anything, but I'm just going to click Control S to save this. And, and a little dialog box comes up before I save it. It says, do I want to update these template files? Uh, well, yes, I've only created one file. If I've created more, it'll show me more. But yes, I want to update this one, so I'm going to highlight it. If there's more here, I'd highlight all the pages that I've created from this template because I want to update every single one of them. I'll go ahead and click Update. And it's going to update that file, and then I'm just going to click Close. And now that if I go back to my new video.html, you'll excuse me .htm, you'll see that the contact me is no longer here. I did it one time in my video.dwt, and it shows up over here. Now I'm going to save this Control S just to give you another example. I'm going to go File New, do all this again, create a new template, and I'm going to save this one as new new video.htm. I'm going to save that and I'm going to go back to my video and I don't want my about me up here either. I'm going to go ahead and click backspace delete that. It's no longer there. I'm going to click control S and now I've got two files to update based on that template. Click that and hit control. Click that again and I'm going to highlight both of them. Update that. Go to close and you can see that these need to be saved now using that little asterisk there next to the name. Go in here, I've lost my about me. Go over to this one, I've lost my about me as well. But what will always stay the same is my editable regions. This new video.htm, I can put anything I want in here. This is my template and it will not change anywhere but this page right here. If I go to my new new video, I can add something in here, go into this. Uh, I'm going to add an h2 tag excuse me h2 tag this is my newest template and I'm going to close that out and I'll go to design and I'll save that and it did not show up here I'll save that and it did not show up here I can do anything I want in an editable region but choose your non-editable regions wisely along with your editable regions because Later down the road, this will help you quite a bit. If you use it once, twice, you'll get the practice, you'll get the hang of it, and you'll be able to do it for every website you create, and it's going to come in handy, I promise you. I've got a few web pages out there that have got thousands and thousands of pages, and I'll tell you what, I did one page a long time ago where I had over a thousand pages, and I did not know what a template was. This was a very long time ago, I'll, I'll give you that. I did not know what a template was and I wanted to change something, my logo, I think it was, and I had over a thousand pages. I had to go through each and every thousand page. And I'll tell you, it took me, actually, I had to go through uh, folders, and it took me one, I think it took me three or four days just to go through all those pages, you know, because I can't sit here for eight hours a day changing one thing a page, save it, one thing a page, save it, and keep going back and forth. That's just, that's just really annoying. So I cut it into little blocks, and I did it, you know, this many per, per day. And it took me three to four or five, whatever it was, days, and it was just annoying. And that's when I learned about templates right after that, and I said, oh, my gosh. I'm going to do templates from now on. So every single site I create now, every single one I do templates for uh, because of that. And I don't want you to have to go through that as well. So this is how you create a template. If you have any questions, uh, send, me a, send me an email on, on webnewbie.com and go check out my other videos. And we'll see you next time.